My name is Edith. My name is Megan. My name is Jessica. And, and this, this is, is our Planting Seed Story. I came to the Oaks when I was in eighth grade. Then I graduated in 2013. I knew my teachers loved me and they wanted me to grow in Christ and it felt very genuine. So that's what made it fun to come to the Oaks each day. We will rejoice in the Lord Christ. Excuse me, morning. We've talked about the Oaks smelling like fresh baked bread and we want gratitude to be in the halls at the Oaks. And I remember as a student feeling that and feeling that people were there for me. And so love, joy, and gratitude are what I love about the Oaks and that school can be something fun and is fun. I am beyond proud of being an Oaks alum. I loved it and I think the difference maker is whether you're as a student all in or not. It's the biggest blessing to be able to come back now and be a teacher and to get the opportunity to be the person pouring in to these kids' lives. It's a big responsibility, but it's the most important one to, to teach about Jesus. To partner with parents and train kids is a beautiful thing. My name is Eden and my teacher is Miss Woodruff. I love about Miss Woodruff that every day she says, thanks be the Lord, we answer, we will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Mom, do I flip it? Mom, I get this one. Okay. Mom, Edie, you know what this one is? No, I don't. So how I heard about the Oaks, I was actually 18. I was a senior in high school, and I was a lilac princess, and our queen was from the Oaks. And so part of just getting to know our queen, we toured the school. And I remember going through the school at old and knowing, you know, it was set apart and knowing, wow, this is really special. And people were opening the doors and there was eye contact and I just remember hearing the little ones uh, memorizing verses and I told Bruce Williams, who was the headmaster at the time, I said, I'm going to send my kids here. The whole child is being loved and cared for and nurtured. That's the goal, is spiritual maturity to be like Christ. It's just a continual growth every year. It's a blessing as a parent to be able to watch that and see just the foundational steps being poured into them. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. You know, we're all broken, and it's not trying to put this facade of perfection, because the end goal is to become more like Christ and to share the gospel. So for me, it's definitely a daily surrender and remembering our duty and our call as parents to be the people that are walking this out first before our children. And then the Oaks is coming alongside of us in that process. My parents have become friends of the Oaks and I just think that's really special, this kind of multi-generational, Thing happening in our family and we have said no to a lot of things because we want to be we're, we want to be here and I don't think you can regret that we're making a generational impact here at the Oaks now is the time to plant seeds now is the time to give hello my name is Edith my name is Megan my name is Jessica and we are Oaksers, Oaksers.